Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mile Wiki. Um, today is Thursday, May the 29th of 2014, and just wanted to make a quick little update video regarding the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme. Um, the first Packard Bell I ever showed on the on my YouTube channel back in 2008. This um, computer was rebuilt about two months ago or so and um, it's been running great ever since um, one major change I did make to it since you last saw it was I I transplanted it into a different Packard Bell 4x4 case which um, the original was all warped and everything and I was afraid it would cause damage to the motherboard so I put it in a empty um, Packard Bell case that used to hold a dead um, Packard Bell, unfortunately, but I threw everything in there. Everything fits except, um, for whatever reason, the uh, front face plate refuses to flush with um, the top cover. So, um, I'm actually um, looking into sometime getting another uh, empty 4x4 Packard Bell case. I haven't been able to find one, but if anyone... Um, knows where I can get one, um, please let me know so I can get this a little bit more OCD friendly. <laughs> and good old fashioned 14 inch uh, focus Packard Bell monitor, CRT, with the speakers built in. I have a original Packard Bell mouse, the, the one that came with this computer. And you can sort of see it there, the uh, Packard Bell keyboard I have for it. So, um, let me get this set up on the tripod and we will take a look at it. Okay, um, this is probably not the best camera angle, but we um, are now ready to fire up the Legend 1510 Supreme. Um, just a reminder, um, I got this, this was the first um, Packard Bell I I got after the original Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, my childhood one. Um, I got this off eBay in March of 2005, so this computer I've, I've owned for a little over nine years. So, um, yeah, it's, it's had a lot of history with me. And it is now being used as my secondary Packard Bell. By that I mean it's the one I use as my bedside Packard Bell so I can control everything from my bed, um, which is good for, you know, playing computer games late at night. Anyway, we'll, um, hello, you might be able to see me now. <laughs> we'll turn the monitor on, reach all the way over here. <clears throat> and now for the computer itself. And I will get in my position here. <clears throat> self-test. So I can zoom in on the monitor just a little bit here. Alright, there we go. I should probably turn the sound up a little bit. Ah. That should do it. And here we are at the Windows 95 desktop. Alright, now let's uh, check out the specs. Device manager, a typical Packard Bell communications port, IRQ conflict, typically means absolutely nothing. So just, if you have a Packard Bell um, with Windows 95 from the mid-90s that does that, just don't give it any second thought, it means nothing. I'm having trouble clicking with this mouse. 
Cirrus Logic video card. This uses the PV600 motherboard, just like the uh, Legend 822 CDT does, so that gives a little bit of extra dose of awesomeness. Uh, Packer Bell sound card with software wavetable. A lot of people don't realize these Packer Bells are, um, the sound cards that came with Packer Bells are capable of um, software wavetable. You just gotta install the right software. Uh, I don't know if this one, I have it set up or not, but uh, we'll find out with a quick little canyon test. Okay, I need to go to the Windows folder. Not the W string folder. Media and Canyon. Oh yes, using the software wavetable. The software wavetable software um, came standard on Packard Bells um, pre-installed in um, <coughs> mid, starting in mid to late 1996. My 822 um, does not have wavetable um, pre-installed, and for originality, I intend to keep it that way. FM synthesis is just fine for me. And I have to admit, every now and then I will turn this off on the 1510 just for retroness. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but the uh, Legend 1510 Supreme, uh, this particular model was manufactured September 15th, no, not 15th, sep September 5th, 1996. So it's roughly a year newer than my 822, but roughly the same computer, just in a desktop style case. And with it being a Supreme, it was um, sold exclusively at Sears. So, yeah, um, this Packard Bell, um, after nine years, and after a major overhaul the, a couple months ago, still works perfectly fine. Uh, I got standard fair software on here. Uh, let's see, did I uh, bother to install the... No, I need to install the rest of the entertainment pack on here, I suppose. I'll get to that someday. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got to show Packard Bell Navigator. This is Navigator 3.6, just like 3.5, but just Welcome from slightly. Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from, Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. This was the computer where the infamous mouse lesson jokes of mine began back in 2008. Oh, how time has flown because I no longer Welcome have any Navigator's living room. jokes. <laughs> yep, it's got Works 4.5, whereas the, not the Works 4.0, I mean. While my H22 um, has 3.0. This one is 4.0 is a little bit more enhanced for Windows 95. I'll just do just cancel. Uh, create a new de oh, back where we were. Uh, let's start up a simple word processor. For a lot of people, this was the best word processor to use um, because not everyone could have not everyone could afford Microsoft Office back in the day, that many people still can't. Even just getting um, Word 95 um, as a standalone program was still pretty expensive. I think it was like a hundred dollars or so. So this this was really nice to have, um, especially when you got a Packard Bell because it came with this pre-installed, so you didn't have to pay any extra for it. So, uh, Yep. Wonderful computer here. Can 
can't believe I've had it for nine years. I'm going to have to give it a big birthday party next March for when it's ten years old. Well, well, not really ten years old. Um, it's ten years since I first got it. <laughs> this, uh, I, according to all the paperwork and documents that came with this Packard Bell, um, it began its life um, at a Sears in Jacksonville, Florida, where it was purchased, and um, sometime between 1996 and 2005, um, it moved from uh, Jacksonville, Florida to Thomasville, North Carolina, which is about a 40-minute drive from Greensboro, which is um, where I bought it from, and then it went from Thomasville to Greensboro, where it is now and has been ever since. Uh, clock is a few minutes um, ahead of schedule, but no big deal. All right, let's uh, let's play a game. Without my voice cracking, um, I don't know if I've ever so shown this video on um, not this, I mean this game on video before, but um, this is a game I've owned since I was about oh uh, six years old, I guess. I got it at um, a computer game store at Four Seasons Mall in Greensboro. It's a construction game called... Uh, voice keeps cracking. Uh, okay. Let me just zoom out a little bit for now. Hard Hat. Here's the original jewel case. A little info for it. We'll open it up here. My, the original CD I've owned since I was six. So, um, I will pop it into the CD-ROM drive. It's designed for w Windows 3.1, but of course it works on 95 just fine. Zoom back in on the screen. There we go. Basically, this is just like a little, um... Uh, I guess I'll read the description off the box. Um, it doesn't have a description, okay. <laughs> um, basically, it's a like a building block game um, based around construction. So we will um, take a look at it now if it's installed. Should be a hard hat program group. Okay, I haven't installed it on here before. So, um, we will do it right now. We are about to install necessary files for Hard Hat. <sighs> Cracked again. Would you like to continue? Yes. Alright, Hard Hat is installed. Yeah, like I said, I have it installed on my Legend 822 CDT, but apparently I never got around to putting it on the 1510 Supreme, so we'll go ahead and load up Hard Hat. Little intro video. This game came out, I believe, in 1995. Sit tight, we'll be with you in just a minute. You gotta have patience, apparently. Alright, here we go. We're gonna meet Bert. And here's Bert himself. Whoa. Hey there, hard hats. I'm Bert. The foreman on this construction site. I love this Welcome place. to my trailer. As you can see, it's a little messy, but hey, it's home. 
If you already know what to Still do, looks better you than my can bedroom. punch in and get busy. If you're new on the site and want to know exactly how things work, click on the computer. Alrighty, um, we will um, punch into the time clock. These yellow thingies are time cards. Click on the one you want. Uh, I guess we'll go with number one. Type your name at the top of the card. Click on one of the pictures from one to six. These are where your buildings get stored. Type the name of the building There's next to the There's a lot of hand holding in this game. Or let the computer name it for you. No, actually there isn't any hand holding. And get going. There isn't any hand holding in this game we because it's a shut up. Linky. There isn't. Let me make my joke. There isn't any hand holding in this game because, um, well, it's a children's game, and if they had hand and any hand holding in this game, well, um, that would be quite disgusting. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's uh, sign in here. We'll just. Type my name, Billo. I mean Billy. <laughs> and um, we gotta name our building. Uh, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Uh, let's name it. Um, well. Uh, Stupid house. <laughs> and let's start. You're looking good. Oh, you thank you. What a compliment. Maybe a plan if you want. Oh. Then get uh, on out What the about door. my appearance? Oh. Uh, let's choose our site. We'll go up here. The site you like and click on it. I usually just go with a simple empty lot. And let's see if we can pick out a plan. Click on any blueprint you like, or choose make your own if you want to build according to your own plans. I use, when I was a kid, I used to use the make your own option, but nowadays, out of laziness, I just like to build something according to a plan. So, oh, what should we build? Uh, how about a, just a simple house? And we'll click this door, and we will get into the main part of the game. Smash your pieces to fit these outlines, and click them right into place. Okay, so basically what we have to do is, um, we got, we got these little boxes here that represent parts, um, and you got to choose the right part that will match in with these, um, outlines here. So, um, we'll just... Start out with a with a standard beam. No, actually, we'll um, do it, start off with a column, and we'll um, just oh, that one's a little too big, and that one's too small. But that's not a problem, as I'll show you in a moment. Here, we'll just pop these into place like Burke told us to do, because. We must all follow Bert, the construction worker. If you do not follow Bert, he will kill you in ways you will never understand. Anyway, um, we will um, put in this last little column here. And we will go to the toolbox up here, this little blue box. And you see this thing looks like an accordion? Well, this will basically just... You just pull this up right here, and it will extend these these little poles. Excuse me, um, should have taken a gas X. All right, we'll go to the beams. Same same principle. You just pop them into place here, and if it doesn't exactly fit, just go back in here and use this little accordion tool to stretch it into place if it will if my mouse will cooperate I've had this mouse for nine years so 
it's gotten a lot of use, so it does, doesn't surprise me that it's showing a little bit of um, personality. Alright, we'll just stretch it again. Go. Now we need some uh, wedges. Now I don't mean those potato things you get at KFC. Nope, we need some of these. Few with these, and we need some uh, arches. Even though we're not building McDonald's, but oh well. And we'll add some more columns. Hmm, these actually fit. <laughs> Okay, now we need some some of these, whatchamacallits. And a few of these. Yeah, it's, this, is, this is one of those games where um, you don't have to do a lot of thinking, and it's just a good game to get going and just sit back, relax, and just go back to a simpler time when computer games um, didn't require as big a brain as they do now. <laughs> you could say that. Well, anyway, we got the framework done for this house, so now we need to do the decorating and all, like all the brickwork and the masonry, that kind of stuff, so what we'll want to do is hit this little green lever to change the bins out. And now we got boxes for uh, textures, trim, and extras, which is stuff like doors and windows. We'll start out with the textures, uh, and just click it again to get more options. Uh, we'll go with brick because, geez, I brick, I ain't singing this. That song's stupid, and I don't know why I'm doing it. Ugh. All right, we'll just fill in the gaps here. Wait a minute. Uh, let's use this because I think I may have made a little uh-oh. Okay, we'll fill these in. Still not looking right, but then again, I'm looking at, at this monitor from a rather uh, far distance, so... Actually, let me take a... Huh. Well, I guess it's just going to have to be an uneven house. Alright, now we'll do the roof. Okay, where's the roof stuff? I think this is it. And again, same concept, just drag it and... Whoa! You were not supposed to be doing that. Okay, this is actually the texture we needed. And we'll fix, fix those bricks in a minute. Again, this is a game I had when I was a kid. Okay, it's doing every part of the roof. It's not, it's... Okay. Now, maybe we can fix this by just um, replacing the bad parts with some borders. And that looks like a toilet. 
Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, and okay. Let me do something about this mouse. The left click is just not behaving properly. But again, I've owned this mouse for nine years, and after time, it it's only natural for it to start showing a little bit of personality. Okay, we will uh, fix these bricks here where I messed it up. There we go. Now we can add textures. Let's add some steps. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be adding steps. <laughs> Stupid mouse. Alright, add the other part. Come on. There we go. And let's add a door because, you know, um, I've always believed, um, you know, it's just my opinion that houses are much more um, accessible with a door. But that's just my opinion, you know. Um, if, if your house doesn't have a door, then um, good for you. Okay, um, I don't think this is how you're supposed to be building this, but oh well, it's just for demonstration. Let's add a couple of windows. Let's try this again. Okay, that's good enough. We'll add a little bit of um, some bushes in front of the house. And just for kicks and giggles, we will add a girl to the house. And here's where it gets interesting. Um, if I can remember how to do it. So, if you press this little thing up here, you can interact with the with what you just built. See, it's flashing like we can click on the door and you can open and close it. Click on one of the windows. Can't do anything with the bushes, but let's see what the girl does. <laughs> that tickles. What? <laughs> that tickles. What? <laughs> that tickles. Am I going to be arrested for doing this? <laughs> that tickles. While it's while I think it does sound kind of adorable, um. That's still kind of creepy. Okay, one more time and then we'll be done. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, one more time. <laughs> that tickles. Alright, last one, I promise. <laughs> that tickles. Okay. Enough of the animation. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, um. I shouldn't have pressed that apparently. Okay, we just stopped all the animation. Now. Before I get in any more trouble with that girl there, let's do the cool part. Let's take all of our hard work we've done in the last 10 minutes or so and flush it completely down the toilet. Bye boom! It's demolition time! Click here to flatten your building with a standard regulation TNT blast. Click here for one of our special surprise methods of a demolition. Yes, that's right, folks. Um, our hard work has paid off. We can now destroy what we have created. I'm just going to go with the basic um, dynamite explosion, so we'll select this. Are you sure you want to flatten your building? Uh, yeah, because I don't want to be arrested. All right, point of no return, folks. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Ah, 
there goes our hard work. We didn't even get the furniture inside. What a waste. And I just realized something. <laughs> I just realized something. Remember that woman we added to the house outside of it that kept going, Hee hee, that tickles. We technically killed her. So, we just, we were accessories in a murder. Oh. Well, on the bright side, I've been doing this for 18 years. If I was going to be arrested, they would have done it years ago, so. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll do a more in-depth video on this game you sure you at a want later to point. back in Windows. We'll um, uh, eject the CD. There we go. Now, um, you may recall that last week I posted on my in my on my Facebook page that I would be receiving another. Um, Packard Bell to be added to my collection. Well, I got that Packard Bell, and it does work and everything, and I have filmed about half of that video so far, but um, I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and film the rest of it, so um, don't worry. With the coming, within the coming days, that video will be completed, and you will be able to see it. As well as another vintage computer that I recently received, which um, is actually um, a laptop, so and it's vintage, so we will definitely have to take a look at it. All right, let's go ahead and shut this down. And for now, this is Billy Core signing off.